Hello, 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 everybody. It's me again, Topsy, and as you can see, we are here with Red Dead Redemption, a game that's going to get me in undoubtedly a lot of trouble on YouTube. Yes, we're here to play the first Red Dead Redemption game by good old Rockstar Games, and we're going to be in. We're going to be in for the long haul here, guys. It's going to be a long, long playthrough. I can already tell we're going to be at it for quite a while. Uh. Full disclosure, I've only ever beaten this game once. Only beaten it once. Uh, not by lack of want. Uh, I've tried being it before, it's just this game is so long. This is a long, long game, guys, and... I don't do exceptionally well with super long games to be played in my free time. Uh, especially if it's a second time playthrough. Um, I have to be really, really invested if I want to finish it more than once, and not to say I wasn't invested, but something about this game just kind of one one playthrough is enough, you know, to last your lifetime, and that's kind of why I never really finished it. But we're gonna we're gonna do it again today. We're gonna do we're gonna do Red Dead Redemption. We're gonna do Undead Nightmare, and then we're gonna be. That'll be that'll be our accomplishment. That'll be our achievement, our goal. We're gonna do all of it, right, guys? But without further ado, let's go ahead and get on started. It's currently 12:48 a.m. Uh, late, a little later than we usually start, but not super late. Uh, we're gonna be doing a normal two-hour session. Uh, make new game, please. That's that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As I'm sure you guys can probably tell, as is, uh, is being played on Xbox One. Even the backwards compatible stuff and all that. Oh my god, I forgot, I forgot how, what this game looked like. <laughs> I'm pleased to say the graphics from, from the second game. Oh, John. John is by far one of the greatest video game characters in of this century. Like I can't even deny that. Like he just he's a great character. As we will come to see during the events of this playthrough. We're in Blackwater right now, right? Yeah. Why are we on a boat? Doesn't John like live like right up the road from Blackwater? Why why the boat? Right, come on now guys, don't gotta be so touchy. Oh boy, you guys had a good day. Uh, my day was kind of, uh, kind of, eh. I don't know how to put it in another way other than saying, eh. Uh, I had to go back to the dentist today for a checkup on, uh, on the spot where I got my tooth pulled. Uh, if you guys don't remember me talking about that, I talked about it in my Before the Storm playthrough. How I had to have a tooth pulled because, um, the details are a bit fuzzy even for me because they didn't really describe it or explain it super well. Uh, I was initially led to believe that it was just kind of bad and had to go. Which was, you know, kind of a bummer because I kind of pride myself on my teeth, but well, but apparently some things Bush, weren't perfect. Uh, there's a tooth that I wasn't doing, I probably wasn't doing great, lad. or so I was led to believe. Uh, turns out, actually, that the tooth was cracked. Uh... It was cracked, and they gave me the options of either getting a root canal to 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 fix it, or salvage the tooth, or just pull it. And I decided that um, I didn't I didn't decide by myself. Uh, I talked with some family members. I went to them for some advice, and they all agreed that it would be better for me just to get it pulled and worry about a a uh, implant later on down the road if I so desired. 
because apparently root canals and crowns aren't a perfect solution. They don't always fix the problem, as far as pain is concern concerned. Um, I wasn't really in pain, uh, so that wasn't ever really an issue for me, but they did. The issue for me was with them talking about how it could be a waste of money. So, you know. Hey man, that's Bonnie. That was Bonnie. Think what so. the hell are they talking about? Right with the mouth though. So yeah, I had to go back in today to uh, have, it, have it checked out in the uh, extraction site and all that. And they also did some more just routine checkup stuff to make sure that everything was fine and all that. And they, uh, they kept my mouth open for quite a while and now my mouth, my jaw is just a bit sore. So um... I don't want to be judgmental. Uh, I'm trying to find this weird area where it's feel, it feels safe to like rest my mouth. A family without class. Apparently, the John's family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. This is a weird. It's been a, I mean, it's just a weird money day, guys. Isn't everything? There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. Do I not have subtitles on? Am I going to need to put those back on? Oh boy. What you must remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. What on earth are we talking about, guys? Civilization. They are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity That is definitely Bonnie. I don't know how I never noticed that she was on the train with us. And who do not kill each other. And who let you worship in peace. <sighs> It's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. Armadillo. Armadillo? What the hell are you ladies coming down here for? Wait, this is a fucking shithole. At least compared to Blackwater, it is. Go to the saloon. One moment, please. No. Oh, there we go. Yeah, why are those off? I, I hate when games have subtitles off by default. Yeah, make our way to the saloon. Why are we here, huh? Oh, never mind. Should I know who you are? You must be John Marston. Sometimes. I'm Chick. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends, but pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out. Dude's going fucking crazy on the piano. Alright, Jake. Take me to my horse. Alrighty then. Take it slow on the way out of town. No need to kick off a lot of dust. Well, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not super familiar with this kind of, this time period of American history. Uh, the Wild West is something I never I was never really interested in because it's just kind of I don't know, it's just not we don't really all the American history was never really my forte. Soldiers and went looking for gold. You know how things is. 
It's gonna be weird so playing this game again uh, after Look playing two. Well, like I says, get that feeling of. I feel like there's a whole lot of new context that you get from playing two. Even though you know they really didn't plan on making a prequel game the when they made this game, but they did, and they added a whole lot of interesting context to it. Mr. Jake, can we go a little bit faster, please? Are you planning on spending any time in Armadillo, Mr. Marston? I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Fine as like what, tumbleweed? Not like thieves landing. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? <laughs> ha, ha, ha. So funny. A real some neat supper that one was, buddy. Yeah, so it was the marshal who hired me. Lee Johnson, do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guide. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. Yeah, John, John is just here to do a job, dude. Don't be his friend. Nope. Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. It's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you better off not knowing. Oh, you can really see the difference between them. What a waste of good meat. Watch it, will you? Almost there. The difference between these horses and the ones in the second game. Holy hell, have we, how, how, how we have advanced the technology. Mister, this here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> Might I ask what was so funny, sir? Twenty-four shots? Not nearly enough. Yeah. Come on, horsey, go a bit closer, please. And faster if you would. Bill. Come on out, Bill. You got some talking to do. Man, John. Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, he has friends. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I am you. Shot, to think we got shot and thrown off a, off a train. <laughs> you and you guys kind of imploded. <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are no, different. Oh, Bill, they have not been kind to you, have they? Now I'm in charge. No more Dutch. And no more you. <sighs> implore. I, I implore you to go back and tell them 
to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well, John, you dumbass. What, are you, what were you gonna do? <laughs> Got a golden gun? Poor John. Why is my gun golden? Ah, uh, Bonnie. Why did I let you get so close? <laughs> drag my sorry ass out of here. Oh, Bonnie, you walk so that city could run. Fucking jaw is so goddamn sore. <laughs> Hi, Bonnie. Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was. Oh. I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Bullets. It cost us fifteen dollars. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county to die, Mister? Er, Mister uh, Marston. How much did fifteen John bucks? Marston. How much was fifteen bucks worth in 1912? Miss Bonnie McFarland. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarland. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. This is worth $425. What were you Jesus. Doing? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. You need help? Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life on me. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. No promises. This is a John Marston and a Rockstar yeah, game. Thing, I can I change clothes yet? No, I can't. All right, Bonnie, I'm coming. Oh, how I miss your sweet southern polite, oh, southern charm. Mr. Marston, back in the land of the living, I see. Figured Saw me like time I started paying two minutes ago. $15. I sure can use an extra pair of hands around here. Let's see if we can get you back in the saddle. Where'd my horse go, by the way? Did you save my horse or was it just me? Okay. There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good for nothing outlaws such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. Hop on up. Wasn't aware of already considered an outlaw. Let's make a tour of the ranch so you can get your bearing. Yes, ma'am, lead the way. Speed. Pretty sure we also just follow them. To your right is the 
general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. I'm John hey, Marston, I don't wear no I Parisian don't high fashion. Seen a ranch with its own store before. You can go a little bit faster. There we go. And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now, where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. John, you own a ranch. What do you mean you don't know? That's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished. Bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Oh my god, the first thing. Right? So used to the first to the, to the second game where if you hit a tree better. you go flying. Sometimes I wonder what it would have been like to live in this time period, you know? Where things were That's the barn over there. So much all more different. Nowadays, everything's so, you know, convenient. And here we are, back at the house. Let's stop for a while before we head out on patrol. You'll get no complaints from me, Miss McFarland. Press X. Okay. Okay. There we go. I should hitch the... There we go. Come on, this is the only chance you're going to get to rest. You know, we didn't really do much. Do I need the chance to rest? How about a cold drink, Mr. Marston? Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot, then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house, and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. You just show me the house? We only know each for like five minutes. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. Did it give me this gun, really? Come on, then. Let's mount up and take a look around. It's real nice that Bonnie is like you're awfully off like awfully trusting. What am I doing? Let's go. Keep your eyes open and try not to get yourself shot again. Oh, here's hoping that there's no one here that will try to shoot me, right? I feel a lot happier now. I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. Feminine intuition, eh? I don't believe it. Those damn rabbits are back. Give me a hand with them, will you? Some rabbits? Get your rifle out. It's about time these little thieves met their mates. All right. Four rabbits think it's a fucking chance. You don't want to, I mean, them some good eatings right there. You want to just leave them? We should keep moving. There's still a ways to go. All right, all right. All right. Lead the way, Bonnie. If it's not the rustlers stealing our cattle, it's the rabbits stealing our crops. It ain't never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city. Become a lady of leisure. Oh you know, damn watching gonna do that. Yeah. I don't remember the horse running being so annoying in this game. Let's go. I'll take you back to your room. 
We're already done? Okay. Didn't take long now, did it? You know, you can actually handle a rifle. It's something I've had a little experience in. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. Why are you so Let's invested you, in helping me? Give me a gun, give me a horse. Thank you for your help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarland. Good night, Bonnie. Sleep in bed to save game. It's a running rock star theme. The fuck was I just overhearing? What was that? Change outfit. Am I just stuck in this one right now? Uh, I guess I am, huh? Oh well. Save the first file, why not? Go talk to Bonnie again. Yeah, do some more missions with her before we can run off on our own. Hello. Obstacles in our path. Oh, Mr. Marshall. You don't even knock, John. That's How rude. Are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. Kind of already came in. You no, know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and... By telling you, not only will I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. John sure does love to talk in riddles sometimes. <laughs> likes to have some exotic secrets, so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss.